Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. So if you are new here, welcome in my loves. This is the High Vibe Tribe. Those of you guys returning, welcome back. Hope that everyone's doing incredible today. Hope that you guys are all hanging in there, taking care of yourselves, loving on yourselves, all the things, right? So Go ahead and get into the message, my loves. Um, you guys have seen the title, so you guys already know why you're here. It is definitely divine guidance to be here right now, okay? It is not an accident whether you find this the day that I upload it or five years from now, right? It doesn't matter. It's a timeless message, and it will come into your life when it's meant to, okay? Bottom of the deck here is the Three of Pentacles. Building, working together, collaborating cooperation right it's a very helpful energy here too okay so the message that i received was the divine okay so for for those of you guys out there who are in these twin flame dynamics or you have met a very intense you know past life soulmate this is going to be for those of you guys who are in a separation um, from your person. Okay. This. And when I say your person, it is a divine counterpart, but it does not mean that they're the only person in the world for you. Right. If it's a twin flame, yeah, there's only one twin flame out there for you. Um, but you can definitely meet and fall in love with other people which brings me to my message okay um so we started with that three of pentacles energy and you know oftentimes the threes can you know indicate a third party energy or whatever and and i do that that there is a third party here but it's not a third party in in the typical sense of things what the third party energy here is is that the masculine, and I specifically received this message 222, was that the divine masculine, um, whoever this person is in the connection, whether this is you watching divine masculine or you're the divine feminine watching in regards to a divine masculine, the masculines are literally like, it is like the hourglass. It's like, that's what I'm being shown. It's like the hourglass has been like, you know, tipped over or whatever and the sand is coming down and the masculines have been feeling this sand getting lower and lower and lower and lower but they have still had this energy about you know this this feeling basically of I still have time I still have time I still have time I still have time well all of a sudden they are seeing the hourglass and they're going I'm running out of time I'm running out of time I'm running out of time it is coming down to the very last little bits of sand and the whole bottom part of it is full. So there's only a little bit left of sand before the time runs out. And basically what that is, is they can, they can sense and feel that you are getting farther and farther away from them, that you are ascending to new heights. Now on a soul level, you guys are always connected. You're together, but in the 3d, for those masculines out there who have been um, resisting ascension and they've been resisting expansion and change and they've been clinging to these comfort zones and karmic partners or karmic situations, um, you know, they've been battling karma. And when I say battling, I mean healing. They've been, you know, healing it. But for many of them, they have been avoiding or they've been resisting and it's been creating a lot of turmoil because the karma that they're meant to heal, they've been pushing it, casting it, trying to cast it to the side, ignore it. Well, that's impossible to do. It always comes up. It catches up at some point. And right now the masculines, it's caught up. They're feeling it in such a huge way. But what they're feeling is time is running out. The hourglass is almost out of, out of time, out of sand. And I can feel my, my divine feminine about to meet someone. I can feel my divine feminine's life is about to change in some very significant, big way. I can feel it. I don't know how I feel it or what I, you know, why I know this. I can just feel it. I know it. And I feel like time is running out. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap into that because that is the message. 
time, the clock of the tarot, the wheel of fortune, the wheel that turns, the wheel of cycles, the wheel of change, everything, right? There it is. It came right out, you guys. If you guys are new here, my loves, um, you know, I am a psychic medium and I channel the energy and I receive the visions and messages and all of that. And then the cards just back up the channeled message that I receive, right? So there it is. This secret admirer, this twin, oh my gosh, he even fell out so we could, oh my, God, you guys, seriously? He just fell out, okay, so we could see, Spirit wanted us to see the Ten of Wands. You have 10, 10. This is someone who is, they're going through big transitions. Someone could be moving out. I feel like that they are, oh, I'm getting massive ear angels in my right ear, you guys. I'm getting a huge download. It's 555 on the timestamp. Spirit says to look underneath this. There it is. Another freaking 10. That's why. Right when I receive the download, like I'm I'm receiving a huge something in my right ear, which is the right side is the it's the masculine side. It's our masculine side. The right side or the left side is our feminine side. That's why when we get married, right, they they put the 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 rings on the left finger because you are receiving the left side. You're receiving the promise, the commitment, the circle, the in, the infinite bond between you guys, but it's about receiving on the left side because that's the feminine side, the side of receiving, being in the flow, whereas the masculine side is the doing, the action, the planning, the create, you know, the strategizing, all that, right? Anyways, so you literally have 10, 10, 10 showing up right away, and then so that's going to be a massive synchronicity for you guys and these connections right now. Also, the, the counterpart, the masculine, if you are the divine masculine, then you already know. You're seeing a lot of 10-10 or just a lot of 10s. You feel this internal, inner. it's like a deep inner knowing that your life, it's time for you to move on from the situations that you've been in that you've been entertaining, you know, wherever it is. This is extreme completion, changes, done, whatever it is. It's about the cycles of the universe, of, of, of life, right? Someone has learned, okay, so that's what the, the message is here too. They're letting you know it's time. Like I said, let's go back to the hourglass. I feel like, I have felt like I'm running out of time. I'm secretly loving you, admiring you, you know, all the things from a distance, but I do want to bring this distance between us to to an end um and that's again with the 10 it shows that there's cycles ending here so there's a big cycle completing between the two of you guys at this time and the cycle completing is the cycle of separation it's about the wheel turning in your favor this masculine is someone who is they're not resisting anymore they're now taking charge they've learned lessons they're ready to move forward in their life and for a lot of them um, they actually are going through these changes of moving out, packing up things, packing up their personal belongings. Maybe, you know, if it was like a boyfriend and girlfriend, maybe they live together or, you know, it could be a marriage, things of that nature. But this is about the karmic lessons that have been learned and then moving on, releasing the burdens, releasing the heaviness. Okay. And for many of them, it's about, you know, I'm moving on from the situations where, you know, I, I thought that this was a strong foundation. I thought that this is what, you know, the person I would spend my life with, you know, for some of you guys, it's like, you know, this person was married or they had children with the karmic or, you know, it was a very difficult situation for them. It was very, they had a lot of responsibility, a lot of duties here, right? Duty before pleasure is what I get. So they were all about their responsibility, you know, their duty, you know, um, that kind of stuff, taking care of the home, the bills, work, you know, all of that, being a provider, you know, the breadwinner is what I'm getting, things of that nature. But this divine masculine energy here, they are in love um, and they want to express this. There's this deep inner knowing that I have to get something off my chest. We've been seeing this. But the biggest message is that this person feels you're moving on in life and that there are a lot of secret admirers wanting to court you, get to know you, date you, talk to you because of who you are. The masculine knows that they have been carrying around this heavy burden and that for many of you guys, they're in a heavy situation, a heavy burdensome situation that is completing or that they want to come to an end. And you, my loves, are the ones 
again, their fear. That's what weighs heavy on them is this. They're fearful that you are moving on, that you will fall in love with this energy and that you will start building and creating a solid foundation, a life, marriage, union, family with another person. That's the hourglass. That's the time is running out. I'm over here in this heaviness and my person, you know, who I feel is my soulmate or the one I'm meant to be with, they are, I can feel it. There's someone coming in at this time where they're going to be in a relationship, a commitment. They're going to, you know, feel, you know, all of this with someone very soon. And that makes me very sad. It also creates bouts of jealousy. I'm seeing the devil card in my mind's eye. Okay. Cause this person feels, you know, a little possessive, like, we belong together. You're, you're, you're mine. You know what I mean? But this person, look at this bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. This is huge breakthrough energy. You, my loves, are going to be receiving a lot of clarity on this situation very soon. For some of you guys, you already have. I've been seeing comments. I've been getting emails, messages of those of you guys. And I see them, my loves. I see them. 11-11 as I say this. A lot of you guys, um, like there was a comment where it was actually in my live the other day where someone was saying that, you know, they have a DM, like a twin flame counterpart. And that in one of my recent readings, I said something about a specific date, like May 20th, et cetera, et cetera. You would hear from them by this time next week. And sure as heck, like they did. And she was like blown away. But I've, I've been getting comments about that. So for many of you guys, you've already received this communication. But this is more so for those of you guys who are about to receive this communication, okay? Um, your person is having massive moments of epiphany, clarity, aha. And it, what it is is like they're just seeing it all for what it truly is. They're really connecting with their crown chakra. And that is showing them everything they need to know in regards to their next moves, this connection, the energies, where you're at, and what's coming in around you, which is that secret admirer energy. See, they can see and, and, and they have had enlightenment around the fact that you, my loves, are very abundant. You guys are full on in this receiving energy. Okay, you're receiving, you know, divine inheritance, divine rewards, um, you know, all the, you know, gifts from the universe. You're very abundant, but it's also about, I see, I, I want, I, I see clearly of where I want to put my time, my energy and where, where I want to give. Okay. So this person is going, I want to give to you, but I also can see and I know I'm connecting where I feel, I sense, maybe they had a dream that someone or someone's, plural, you know, multiple people, options are coming into your life at this time. Um, you know, the spring, summer energy, it's a very auspicious time for starting romantic connections. It's a very auspicious time for social events. Wedding season is here. You know, people have barbecues, it's Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July, you know, all of these things here in the States anyways. But, you know, it's just the energy of summer where people go out, they're social, they have fun, they have, like I said, barbecues, friends over, friend gatherings, you know, maybe you meet someone, you go to a friend's barbecue, they invite you over, and then they have other friends over there that you've never met, or, or their boyfriend invites friends or their husband invites friends or whatever, right? This is examples, but it's very real examples, trust me, where you go over and you meet new people and boom, someone's there and they're just like over there in the corner just staring at you like, damn, you know, it's like that. Those are the kinds of things that the masculine is not only sensing and seeing, but they're feeling in a huge way. They, they just know, they just know that you're about to be taken, swooped up, you know, all of that. Okay, because you're ready, you're ready, you know, and you're not waiting on anybody for any reason in life. You're living your best life. You guys are moving on. You are very, you know, you're all about self-love and, and, you know, leaps of faith and trusting in the universe and the unknown and, you know, magic and all of that. And this is all the stuff that this person wants to feel with you. Okay, and they want to create with you, but it's also the stuff that weighs heavily upon them with the ten of burdens, the ten of wands. It's it's the fact that they have not told you how they feel that weighs heavily on them. Okay. And they're just like thinking to themselves, like, 
if someone comes in and gives to the divine feminine, I know I'm going to lose them forever. I know I'm going to lose them forever. And that's where the, 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 the hourglass comes in, the sands of time. The sands of time. I, I may call this something along the lines of that because this really is. And the very first card out in the reading is literally the clock of the tarot. Okay. So there's something here about karmic lessons being learned, moving forward, right? I have to give. I feel like I'm running out of time. Tell me about running out of time for this divine masculine, for the masculine at this time. Are they, are they feeling this? Is this what the heaviness is? I'm feeling it so heavily that I'm running out of time. I feel like I've been, you know, letting time go on and on and on. Now, it takes time, you guys, to heal. That's why they call twin flame, you know, especially for twin flames, right? They call it a journey for a reason. It's not a short trip. It's not, you know, it is a journey. Because you guys are on these journeys for all eternity, right? But in the physical, it's about the journey back to self, oneness with self, and then the journey as wholes together, as one, to become one. I've been channeling that like crazy, you guys, for like a week and a half straight. To become one, to become one, it keeps coming up so heavily. And I even had an old reading pop up um, from this time last year. Actually, I think it was around like March, April of, of last year, 2022. Um, and it was a Capricorn message. And it was something about someone from the past coming back with a solid offer of commitment. But literally in that reading, like right as I started listening to it, because I know when old readings pop up in the news feed, it's for a very specific reason. So if that happens to you guys, where one of my old videos pops up in your news feed, watch it because <laughs> it's very, it's a very specific reason. I feel that the older readings are even more specific most of the time for them to come circle back in that way than like a, a current timeline reading. You know what I mean? Because in a sense, it is the current timeline, the old message. That's why it's coming back. And that's why you need to see it. My readings or other people's readings, whatever. But I clicked on it. I watched it. And I was like blown away um, because of the things that I said, the, the messages that came through. But literally, I spoke to become one, to become one, to become one. Like I kept hearing it the same time last year. And I was channeling it. It's just crazy, right? Not really, though. We know how these things work. It's magical. It's beautiful. Um, it's universal law. What goes up must come down. What goes around comes around. So this right here is someone coming in. Uh, they're coming back around. They're circling back around. Okay. They've It's infinity. So you guys keep coming back to each other. You guys meet. You go off into your separate ways. Boom, you meet. Boom, you meet. Boom, you meet. You know? Um, and it's about this person coming in. This is a part of their karmic lesson is to say the things that they have not said to you. Notice the unopened love letter, 1818 on the timestamp, which is 99. Definitely cycles ending here. This is some type of completion. Someone needs to complete a karmic. Uh, it's, it's karma for them. It's a lesson. It's karma for them to come forward and be open, truthful, authentic, real, and vulnerable, and to communicate what it is that they truly are feeling and to give like this reciprocity, okay? They've got to give, okay? So you guys do what you want, but I would highly, 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 highly suggest if you are feeling called, if it is indeed a twin flame or this type of connection, right? If you are feeling called to communicate to your person right now because you miss them or you're just feeling their, their energy very heavily because of the way they're pulling on you and thinking of you, I would advise against reaching out to this person. But like I said, this is obviously for entertainment purposes only, so you do what your free will says. But yeah, this is some kind of karmic lesson for this person to, to open up, be vulnerable, and give. Okay? And we, you know, we are, who are we to step in someone else's the way of someone else's karmic lesson and karmic healing, right? Strength card. Their heart chakra, look at all the green. Their heart is completely open. And then look at all the blue. There, there's moments of clarity. They're seeing things more clearly. Um, this is someone who's been very much struggling with their pride, with ego, reaching out. No, I don't want to reach out. Yes, I do want to reach out. What if I get rejected? I can't be rejected again. That'll hurt my pride. That'll hurt my feelings. That'll hurt my heart. 
maybe it's just better off not knowing. No, I have to know. So there's this like whole, you know, going back and forth between the ego, the pride, the beast, and then, you know, being like this, like human, you know, vulnerable self. But this is also about someone who is balancing out these energies, okay, in a really big way. Um, they are ready to be vulnerable. Their heart is like, they're wearing their heart on their sleeve, essentially. The lamb speaks of purity. It speaks of sovereignty. It also speaks of new beginnings, okay, and um, vulnerability, being very vulnerable and open, okay? So this person knows that in order to have it, there is a victory here, okay? So the universe is saying that that is the energy lining up here. This person is feeling, again, that time is running out. You know what's so funny too, is we have the infinity symbol here, but doesn't this resemble almost an hourglass? The, the shape of the hourglass, right? Okay, so it's like all of the sand is now down here. It's been running down, running down, running down, and now this person is almost like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay? All of a sudden, they're feeling the pressure in a really big way. The heaviness, the burden, the pressure. I have to get this off my chest. I have to release this. I have to speak my truth, okay? Because um, if I don't, someone else is going to win my, my true love. They're going to, you know, come in and they are going to recognize them uh, completely for who they are. You know, the way that I failed to see them in the past, you know, I do see them as this person now, you know, or maybe I always saw them as this person, but I was afraid, I was fearful, right? To be vulnerable and open up, to have my heart broken, you know, whatever it was. So I stayed, I played it safe. I stayed where it was safe. I stayed where I couldn't really get hurt, you know, um, and I released the feminine, you know, I figured I could get over the feminine, but the truth is, the spotlight has always shone down on the feminine. You've always been on my radar. I watch you all the time. I look at you like someone who is successful. You have a lot of attention and eyes on you. I mean, quite literally, she's in the spotlight. Maybe you are in the spotlight for work or, you know, maybe you, you have a, um, you know, a social media platform or a channel or, you know, maybe, um, you know, maybe you're an actress or you're in, you know, the performing arts or theater or, I don't know. I'm also getting like a professor or a teacher. So maybe, you know, you're just, there's eyes on you in one way or the next. But what I'm getting is like more so like a platform or social media presence where many eyes can see you all at once. And these are people who are seeing you and they think, damn, like you look good, you dress good, you know, you, you take good care of yourself, you're, you're you know, you're, you're successful you are abundant, um, you know, you're someone who takes chances in life, you know, you're someone who embodies beauty and strength, compassion and love. Um, so why wouldn't I, you know, want to, you know, shoot my shot with you, you know? So this person is definitely um, up in arms over this, okay? Um, it's almost like they can feel that you have these very viable, high vibrational, options coming towards you or around you at this time and they're looking out at their life and they're going wow it's like twin flame FOMO where it is that fear of missing out where you whoever's tuning in divine feminines mostly right you have been winning you really did choose you know to live your best lives and you've become successful on your own and you know you, you're in this just different kind of energy and they're they 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 look out at their you know their life and they're like wow I'm stuck in situations I don't like or I'm I'm stuck in patterns I don't like I'm unhappy I feel like I keep circling back and hitting the same walls over and over again but now I see it I see the dysfunction I see my toxic ways I see all the things that I do and the people that I entertain or whatever, you know, and it's my fault because I choose it. I, I, I involve myself in it and I keep doing the same thing over and over again, right? So there's this, this like, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be like my feminine more. 
I want to tap into that energy where, you know, I, I feel happy. I, I'm receiving success. I'm, you know, getting recognition from the universe and rewards. And, you know, I want to be, you know, the one that, you know, is giving, you know, showering down a light and attention to my feminine. Like, you know, it's like all these different energies, right? Look, there's the devil. I knew the devil would show up. Capricorn energy here. We have Leo energy also. Okay. There's, um, yeah, see, it's someone who it is obsessive, possessive. They are, you know, really, it's like the devil is really sad. That's what I get. This devil is really sad because they are seeing all of the ways that they have let you slip through their cracks. Okay. They realize that there were actually no strings attached. Okay. And now they want to come, you know, lift out, you know, give out their hand. They want to you know, give this offer, but they are a little possessive in the sense of, I feel like we belong together, you're mine, and I don't want anyone else to have you, okay? All right, yeah, see, they're, 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 they're obsessing over you receiving an offer of, of long-term commitment, and then you're every, it changes everything. They can feel it, that I'm telling you, you guys, there's this, they had a dream about it, they're obsessively thinking about it, this is obsessively thinking about the offer they didn't give, that they want to give, and that they are afraid someone else is going to give to you. And it changes everything. Metamorphosis, transformation, and change. There's that three of pentacles again after the death card. See, that third party energy. They are definitely afraid of someone offering you the commitment that, you, that they want to offer you, that they have wanted to offer you. And they're afraid that you start building with someone and then it very quickly moves to the 10 of pentacles and look at there's the king of pentacles after that. So you could be connecting to an earth sign. This is someone who wants to build with you, but they're also reflecting on all the ways that they have kept this from happening with you. Okay. They're seeing it in a big way. And that's the that obsessiveness. I don't want anyone else to have you. I want, they're coming in quickly. I'm going to give this away before someone else can. I want to pick up where we were, where we left off and I want to get here. I want to start building here, okay? They don't want someone else, you to start building with someone else. So, all right. And I'm not saying that that's the only reason why they come forward, but I will say, and use your discernment, you guys, obviously, right? Um, to make sure that this person isn't coming in just to have their ego stroked again or, you know, have another false start with you, a false victory. Um, you know, this is, for me, the energy that I get is someone that really does love you but they just had stuff going on, you know, whatever. And now it's like the universe is lighting a butt, uh, lighting a butt, <laughs> lighting a, lighting a torch under their butt. Okay. Um, lighting a fire under their butt because the universe is showing them through signs and, you know, other, you know, whatever they're getting, you know, downloads, seeing visions of you, um, falling in love with someone new. Okay. Or something else coming in that changes everything but it, it what they're afraid of is you meeting someone and it completely puts a death energy to the two of you guys as far as the 3d reality in this lifetime okay and for them it can't happen so here they come it, it just it's not an option they just know there's this you we belong together right i'm hearing i'm lenny kravitz you or i belong to you and you belong to me too. You make my life complete. You make my life so sweet, right? Something like that. Okay, so they're rushing in. They're running in. Okay, they're running in. Let's see what they want to say. So I send you guys love and light. I hope you guys um, have a beautiful rest of your day. And I thank you so much for all of your love and support here on the channel. For every like and for every subscription. Make sure if you are new here to subscribe, hit that notification bell. You don't want to lose the channel. Okay. So this person, what they want to say, you were my sanctuary. So you were their, their Shambhala, their heaven on earth, their sanctuary, their home. You were the only person that I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. Okay. Bottom of the deck. My heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know that you've lost faith in me. After that, time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. 
Okay, so they have definitely showed you the devil energy within, right? They've showed you, reflected back to you, their karmic energies and their dense energies, which reflected in you rising higher and going, okay, you figure that stuff out. I'm going to keep living my best life. Okay, but now twin flame FOMO, fear of missing out, they're going, you know, you made my life complete. You make my world so sweet. I feel like you belong to me and I belong to you too. You know, it's all that. Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with um, your heart. And then after that, look at, so we have pink, blue, pink, blue, okay? Last card. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. There it is. And maybe uh, for your guys' homework, <laughs> go listen to that, that Lenny Kravitz song, okay? I belong to you. And you belong to me too. So I just, I picked up the card um, just to show you guys really quickly. But look, can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? There it is. There it is. There it is. I want to reconcile, but can you trust me again? I'm coming in because I know we belong together and I can't stand the thought of someone else being with you because I know who you are for me. I know you're my soulmate. You're my twin flame. You're the love of my life, my true love. Okay. So anyways, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. I send you guys so much love and light. Um, oh, spirit is saying, hold on, hold on. They're saying to get an archetype card really quickly. So this must be important. This must be important for, for, for me to, you know, for me to be wrapping up the message and then for them to go, nope, get an archetype card. Okay, so there's a very specific archetype energy here around um, the incoming energies around this connection and around what this person is wanting. Oh, look, the mask. Yeah, the mask. The mask falls off, the underworld. It's like Plutonian energy, Scorpio energy. It's like death card. Transformation, death and rebirth. The shapeshifter. I'm shifting, I'm changing. I want you to know that I'm that I'm transforming, I'm shapeshifting into... Um, my true self. And then the gem. You are my gem. You're the jewel. You're the, you're, you know, you're my, my jewel, my special gem. It's also about like, you know, diamond energy. Diamonds are forever. Diamonds are made under extreme amounts of pressure. That would be that ten of, ten of wands from earlier. Burdens, pressure, all of that, right? So, okay. So let's go ahead and just see real quick. All right, spirit. So if you guys would like to book with me, I think I said this, but you can find all the info below in the description box. Ooh, the warrior. All right, we got a fighter. We got a warrior spirit, someone who wants to take off the mask, take off the armor and fight for, for this love, but fight for it completely vulnerable and open. Here we go. The kiss, there it is. And then bottom of the deck is the queen. Look at that beautiful energy of transformation, shedding old skins. There's deep, deep, deep romance here, deep love. Okay, we've got root chakra energy and solar plexus energy. This person views you as someone very grounded, very rich in life, rich in essence, rich in everything. Okay, you are... There's a lot of deep emotion here. They view you as this goddess-like energy where you truly don't need anyone, right? You're very much in your power. You're very confident and you're very sensual and sexy, okay? You are the queen to their king. You are the empress to their emperor. I want to make you my queen. The red string of fate. I know that we belong together. The serendipitous energy. I've never let go. I can feel our bond. I can feel the cord connected between us. It's like that, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and read this to you guys really fast. The kiss. Oh, wait, you know what? Shoot. I actually don't think I have this book here. It's okay. You know what? I don't think I have the book in here with me, but... I mean, clearly the kiss is a very, 
like obvious kind of energy, right? Nope, you guys, I don't have it in here with me. Shoot, I don't know where I would have put it. Hmm. All right, well, you know what I'm getting off of this? Okay, first of all, we have this crescent moon. The moon in the sky right now, we just had the new moon. Okay, we just had the new moon. Um, and the moon in the sky right now at night, it is this beautiful crescent, waxing crescent energy. Notice the hands being held here. This is true love's embrace. This is a very activating moment where you guys first touched. It was a new beginning like the new moon, okay? You guys created light together from each other's shadow, from the darkness. You guys activated each other through touch and everything changed. And it's been many phases and many moons to get to this point, but there is the sliver of hope. There is this sacral orange energy, a lot of new energy coming in between the two of you guys, sexual energy, creative energy, sensual energy, all of that, right? Very much about the Kundalini rising. Okay. This person, the cosmic egg has been bursted open again, massive connectivity through the crown chakra. And this person is wanting true love's kiss, just like in the fairy tales, true love's kiss. It awakens you. It brings you out of the, the slumber, the spell. This is the same thing. You you awokened each other through true love's kiss. And this person wants this kiss for the rest of their life over and over and over again. So they are coming in to grab you by the hand, to have this new beginning, and to plant a big fat kiss <laughs> um, on you. Okay, this is something they really want. They are still feeling very connected and attached to you. They have not let go. And they want to bring this into reality here because you are the queen of their heart they love you so this is what i have for you my loves okay i send you guys so much love and light thank you again and i will see you very soon Mwah. bye